Minimalism, round two. <laughs> Let's go through my clothes. This is everything I own, this and this. Current plan is I'm just getting out all my clothes and putting them on the floor and I'm kind of sorting them into mental categories like summer, winter essential, business wear work, something that I really don't like that much but I own for one-offs, outfits which I really love but have just gotten so worn out because I've worn them for about 10 years. And then I'm also gonna make a section of this is the energy I love. This is the style that I want more of. An organized mess, I think so. These are all the small tops and trousers that I own and shorts and that kind of thing. These are all the jumpers and interesting tops that I own. And um, we're gonna minimize. So I still own a lot of clothes and most of these clothes I have owned for at least five years. Some of them I really haven't updated since I was like 13. But because I'm also so averse to buying clothes now, I'm just not that attached to buying clothes. I'm trying to think more about sustainability and I don't purchase fast fashion, that kind of thing. A lot of the stuff I own, it doesn't really feel fully me. I can't tell you what my style is. I'm this weird mix between being a modern day hippie and being a preppy bad bitch school girl. And I guess as I get older, not only do I want to minimize, but I want to optimize. I want the stuff that I own to reflect what I feel is my, my style now. And I want every piece that I own to feel meaningful, such that if I only owned a week of outfits, every single one of those outfits is something I love and would be happy wearing week in, week out. Welcome to me doing two things, working out my style and minimizing, part two. That moment when you realize that you own five turtlenecks. I kind of love them though. This used to be one of my favorites, but every time I wear it, I just don't feel in love with it. <laughs> and meh is not enough, so I'm gonna kindly give this one away. Someone else will love this, I'm sure. Okay, so I'm already realizing one of my main issues with minimalism being in the UK. I love summer clothes. Obviously, we have rainy days, we have cold days, we have really hot days, and having clothes for all of those weathers is a bit restricting. I was thinking though, I don't really need more than one or two like hoodies or warm jumpers. The 100 Club, which is a really cool, sustainable brand. I highly recommend checking them out. A while ago they sent me these, which are lovely and beautiful. And this is like a jade green. This is a nice white. I don't need another jumper. These jumpers are good. I have my MCC hoodie, which is the one hoodie that I own now because I, I got rid of a bunch of hoodies in my last minimalism episode. I only need one hoodie. This is good. I have six. Turtlenecks. Okay, so I clearly love turtlenecks. Turtlenecks are a crucial part of jade fashion that is not going anywhere. However, I don't need six. That's a bit excessive. This one I really have had since about year seven. It's also got holes around the neck. It's time for that one to go. I just realized I have, I must have seven because one of my turtlenecks is in the wash. I got this amazing turquoise turtleneck and my pink one that you might have seen. Both of them I got in a charity shop in San Francisco. They're high quality. I love a pop of color. In the winter, I wear them all the time. So they're staying, like 100%. They are an essential item in my wardrobe, which leaves me with these. In the winter, I do wear them a lot. Like I can see myself wearing one like every day. Okay, so I have three, which are like black and white. Do I need that? Probably not. I've had this one since year eight and it has like holes in the armpits because it's just been worn so much. As much as I like it, it gives me a lot of memories of year eight me, which feels like a very old me. And I think moving into my life, I, I, I just don't feel, I don't feel this piece. It's been a long stint, but I think I'm gonna let it go. This one again, I've had for years, many, many, many years. I think future me, future Jade style, I am feeling color. I love black and white, I love gray, it's classy, it's brilliant, it goes with a lot of stuff. But as I say, I think most of these items I bought at a time where I felt very insecure, I, I wouldn't have been seen wearing a bright color. And this lovely gray, as much as it's lovely, do I need it? I think I do. Goodbye. This is actually scary, I'm being ruthless. I can't believe I'm gonna only own four high necks. Who is she? Next segment. I would say my next segment where I have things that I wear a lot and consistently and I think it is a genuine part of my fashion is blouses. Kind of workwear, casual workwear. I really enjoy a preppy vibe. It just makes me feel 
like motivated and I just enjoy it. Power. This one is just so cute school girl. I love it. It's comfortable. When I get home from a run, I have two minutes left before my meeting. I run up here. I have the buttons half done already. So I chuck it on, run to my laptop and bam. I look professional from the top half. This blouse I am less attached to. I'm not gonna lie, it is annoying to iron, but I do love a blue and I think it fits It fits quite well. For now, I'm gonna keep. I have had this a very long time. I think I got it from, I wanna say Asda. I've had this since I was maybe 15, I don't know, five years. And it's seen better days. I still think it's a worthy piece to keep. I absolutely love this shirt. I got it for three pounds in London on a rack of shirts and I saw it and I was like, this is the one for me. It's cozy, it's warm, it's soft, it's corduroy, cute. And I feel like this is very much a, a new older jade. I think this is just my favorite piece in my whole wardrobe. It was expensive because I know I'm gonna use it for like 10 years. The quality, the design, the power it feels like it gives me. I love it. This is this is 100% new jade style. Whatever my style is, it's partly this. I got it from 07 Days. I did a lot of research looking at different sustainable fashion brands. I was willing to invest a bit more as I say, which I know is a privilege. And I love it. I'm definitely keeping it. This is another one that I bought relatively recently. One clarifying detail I have to whatever my style is, I love interesting sleeves. Interesting puffs or flares or off the shoulder. Just something going on there, I love it. And I also love a flared trouser. I don't know if it's because I have broader shoulders and it just is more flattering, but I just love it. This is my roommate's. I only own one cardigan and I don't wear it that often, but because I don't own another cardigan, I feel like I need to keep it. Honestly, one of my favorite things I've ever owned or looked at. I love the princess sleeves. I love the tie back. This is another one that I invested in relatively recently because I know I'm just gonna love it and wear it over and over. Okay, so to recap where we're at, I have two jumpers a hoodie, three turtlenecks and a pink one somewhere, four shirts and blouses, one corduroy shirt, my roommate's denim jacket. I should get my own denim jacket. I weirdly never felt like denim jackets were my vibe, but I like wearing her one. So I don't know what that says. One cardigan and this princess energy top. Oh, and of course, this motivated collection. I wear this top and it genuinely just makes me feel happy. It's the brightest thing I own. It's so comfy. It makes me feel motivated and productive and I love it. Volker is obsessed with the night owl one. He always wears it. I tend to wear the yellow one more. So the other one is in his cupboard. Okay, so I technically cheated because I also have some one-off pieces and dresses in this side of my cupboard. But they're the kind of ones which are like my prom dress, my cool occasion dress. And because I don't have that many and I tend to rewear them, I'm not really looking to replace them. I've had this little princess energy dress since I was, again, like 14 or 15. Still gorgeous. I have this dress, which I got for like my 16th birthday or something. It jingles and it's, it's just beautiful. Again, I've had it for like five years. I still, still love it. This dress I got from TK Maxx. It's a really cool print. It's so comfortable. I love it. I then have this dress, which I love it. It's off the shoulder. Both of these are off the shoulder because I love off the shoulder. But this one again, I have had for such a long time that it is getting kind of worn out. I wish I had more upcycling skill. I was really interested in like textiles and that kind of thing because the material and the pattern is amazing. And this dress my host mom in Uganda got for me. So I, I'm not passing with it. That gives me four dresses and then like three one-off pieces. I do think in future these two kind of serve the same role in my wardrobe. So if I was to get rid of something, I would get rid of one of them. Okay, and now I have my, what I like to call mini tops, I guess. This one is a little vest top. Again, I've had it for like six years. I think it's from TK Maxx, as is this one. Both have served me so well. I still do feel, again, because I've had them for the bulk of my young adult life, I don't know that I necessarily still feel like they're that me, which leads me a little bit to feel like I should part with them. I got it from Topshop. This one I got from a street sale in London for about a pound and I love it. It's really comfortable. It's off the shoulder. Just, just a trusty piece of fabric that's just gone with many things. I think for me, this is pretty good. Four vest 
top style things. Okay, I have this top and I love it, but it's actually, it's quite impractical and I've ended up not really wearing it. Let me, let me put it on now. Okay friends, is this a yes or a no? You know what? I still think, I think it's gonna be a no. I just don't wear it enough, so it's worth parting with. It's very cool though. This is the only v-neck little black top I own. I really like it. I got this from the equivalent of TK Maxx in SF in San Francisco. Okay, my next type of item is t-shirts. Again, I got rid of a lot in my last minimalism stint. <laughs> this one fits in with the motivated vibe. I have this one, which I got from a charity shop in Australia. And I have this one, which I bought from some random fast fashion shop in Australia. I really, really enjoy a good baggy t-shirt and I wear this one a lot. But yeah, I don't feel like I need loads of different designs. I like these ones. All of this we're saying goodbye to. Kind of terrifying. That's how I feel, little owl. That's how I feel. Which leads me on to everything that went into my drawers. So skirts, shorts, trousers, jumpsuits. I feel like I have to start with my all time favorite. I love these. You've probably seen me wear them a thousand times because I do wear them almost every day. And you're never gonna believe where I got them from. I got these for five pounds. Five pounds from a secondhand sale in the streets of Deptford in London. It was a risk, I couldn't try them on or anything. I saw them, I loved this detail and that was that. And I love them still, that was about a year ago. And this belt is actually a recent addition because I realized I have not owned a single belt in probably my entire teenage lifetime. I have just, I've just never worn belts. <laughs> I just always would have like misfitting stuff and I was not really thinking anything of it, to be honest. I really like this one. It's from Lucy and Yak, and I would love to explore their clothing even more because they're sustainable. I'll link them down below, check it out. Next up, my beautiful crush velvet trousers. My weight fluctuates a lot. I have quite like a slow metabolism, so if I don't exercise every day, I just, I will gain weight quite easily. It's actually fine, it is what it is. I still love my body, but yeah, I definitely gain weight around my middle and my hips just very quickly. So right now, because I'm a bit of a health queen and trying to exercise, uh, these are way too big. But when I was in SF and didn't exercise as much, these were tight. So because I just know my body and I know my weight will fluctuate again and that's fine, I know I wanna keep these because they're just comfy and fun. And when I've gained weight, I will happily put these on. Okay, these, these I got from ASOS and I think it was the first thing I ever bought in ASOS. And they are my hippie trousers and they're like patchwork. I just absolutely adore them because I've worn them so many times. They've kind of ripped in some places and I tried to sew it. Oh God, there's like another hole. And they're too unique and I just love them too much to get rid of them. But if I could find a piece that served a similar purpose, I would happily get rid of these and I would love to channel a more hippie energy into my style, like a sophisticated hippie energy. So I currently have three pairs of trousers. Okay, so I also own these jeans. I got them at a charity shop and they're way too big for me, like absolutely huge. But the denim is just such good quality and they have so much potential, they're flared. I would love to try and buy some tighter fitted jeans just for when it's colder. Oh, another difficult one. Okay, I got this from Urban Outfitters and it's a really fun pinafore but it's also so short that when I wear it, you can definitely see my bum. <laughs> and I don't know, I don't know that this is me moving forward. I don't know how I feel about it. Even though I'm wearing a skirt right now, I do, I'm feeling some more trouser energy. Shirt and trousers, I just I just kind of like that. Feels, feels quite interesting. I, I wear this about three times a year. And three times a year, is not good enough. Hence, I'm gonna give this away. I only own this one pair of shorts. Honestly, not the best thing I could own because it doesn't really go with anything, but I admire the plant design. They are so comfortable. I think until I find an equally comfortable pair of shorts, these will stay. This was selling for a dollar from a lovely homeless man in San Francisco. I didn't just give him a dollar, I gave him more than that. Yeah, it's, it's very sturdy, good piece of denim. Don't really wear denim skirts that much, or mini skirts, even though I'm wearing this one right now. It's, it's generally not really what I wear, but I think I'll keep it as an option, which means I'll have two mini skirts, because I 
Also really like this one. So it's a keep for now, but it's a, it's a hesitant keep for now. If I don't wear this more in the summer, then I should get rid of it because I'm, I'm just not wearing it then. So I've, I've got this section in my drawer, which is like, watch these. Like if you're not wearing them, get rid of them. These have served me so well in my life. It doesn't add anything to my creative style. Oh, this is a real tension point for me. I've had them for so long. They're not comfortable. They're not particularly nice. Don't feel me when I wear them, to be honest. I just don't, I, I don't really get anything out of it. It's not, it's not interesting. It's not flared. It's not, it's not anything. And I keep it because it's the very palatable, easy jean that, honestly, my, I think my parents quite like it. Every time I wear it, I get a compliment because it's just like, tight jeans, just kind of basic. But because I just never feel that great wearing them, I think it's gotta go. Or do I keep them? They're a good basic. Okay, another one. I have this dress, which is kind of preppy. I think it's becoming a running theme that I really don't buy that many clothes. And when I wear it, I do feel a bit, a bit like 11 year old me. It's, it's, I feel like it's sort of served its time. So even though it's a good preppy vibe, I am very, very happy to get rid of this and hopefully find something that fills the same role. But I think I'm really at this turning point. I want less, but I want everything to be meaningful. Like the white puffy sleeve thing and the naked woman blouse. They just feel meaningful. If I wore them every single day, I would still love them. I need more of that energy. For workout clothes, if you've watched my Instagram story, you'd know I always, I always run and cycle in the same purple thing. It's good. I'm not changing it. I love it. I don't even really like skorts, but hey, this does the purpose for when I want to exercise. This top, again, it serves its purpose. I'm not going to get rid of it. For things like exercise clothes, I'm not trying to look nice, you know? It's not colourful. It's, sure, it's a bit of a flare sleeve. It's not that interesting, is it? It's not me enough. Get rid of it. I've got enough tops. I've worn these about 200 times. They're collots. I've worn these in interviews. I've worn these to summer in the city. I found another high neck, but this time not a jump just a t-shirt work trousers as I was saying my weight fluctuates a lot and these often don't fit me I'd love to revolutionize what work trousers mean to me I'd love to get some more color in there some more flares in there something more interesting something I can keep from now to another 10 years these aren't it I don't I wear them like once a year I don't know how I feel I guess it is practical isn't it mm. now all my clothes fit into that half and one pull-out drawer, which is kind of weird and kind of cool. This skirt is by Fashion Flip. There's a lovely subscriber who literally turned a shirt, like a dad's shirt, into this cool skirt, which blows my mind and is just amazing. I treasure items that are homemade like that. And these are pieces I've had for years, things, things that I keep saying I'll wear and don't, or have just sort of served their time. It feels so weird to be getting rid of them but I know in the long term, it will just give me a feeling of clarity. Less stuff it is just better for your mental state, your life. I agree so much with the philosophy of minimalism. No matter how hard I find to practice it, like this isn't full minimalism, but it's me adapting the principles to what suits me now, I guess. But yeah, I'd say about half of what I own is the style I wanna have. And I would describe that style as hippie, cool flares with preppy bad boss and together with color and something interesting that that feels jade and while i believe a lot in upcycling and wearing things for as long as you can i really have worn these things for a very long time so yeah um i'm gonna manifest those items in hopefully a very sustainable way